Hello again, this is Robert Veach here, and this is my video review of a USB microphone by company SGYD. Now this is a PC microphone that's USB based. It can be used for singing, voice, notes, YouTube videos, um, anytime you need to have a microphone that will work with a different application that you have. And this should work uh, successfully on laptops, PCs, using Windows, or the Mac operating system. It has an a, uh, on and off switch with an LED on indicator, which is nice. It has a flexible mic boom, and it has a weighted bass on here. <clears throat> and the microphone element is 360 degrees omnidirectional. The sensitivity of that microphone for all the techies out there is minus 47 dB, plus or minus 4 decibel. Frequency response is 100 to 16 kilohertz, which is which is very nice. And the important thing is signal to noise ratio is minus 67 dB. So we're going to test that. So let's take a look at this microphone right here. You see that it's got that push button switch right there and a little green LED. The camera's probably not going to pick that up. And an adjustable boom that you can move uh, wherever you need it. And it has the 0.9 meter included cable with a USB port on the cable itself. Now we're going to take this upstairs in my uh, PC area and we're going to hook it up and test it out. It also includes a nice little instruction manual that tells you how to operate the device. And this USB microphone comes with a one year warranty from the manufacturer and seller. So here I have the USB microphone and I'm going to take the cable. I've got my USB port right here. I'm going to plug it right in just like that. Now the LED is not on. When you push that button, we're going to see what happens and the window should recognize the device. So let's change the camera angle here first. So let's push that button right now. And I see the blinking green LED and I hear Windows responding. Now let's see what we got on the screen here. So the first time I did this, it found the drivers. So now that it found the drivers already, it's not going to come up with that screen. So now we can go and we can show you how to go about using it as an example. So I'm going to take the microphone and I'm going to point it towards where I'm at so that it's picking up my voice. Let's change the light right here so you can see it better. So there's the microphone right there. Now I'm going to run an application right here, Adobe Edition as an example. Any audio program will work. So I'm going to record just one of these tracks right here and it's recognizing the microphone right there and I hit record and it should allow me to record. Now I'm going to put it up to my mic, to my mouth, testing one, two, three. This is the test of this USB microphone, testing one, two, three. Now the levels can be set in your software and in Windows you have system sound and what you'll see right here is you go to recording and you get the microphone right there and you can hit levels and you can see it's set to 100% right there. And you can tell that it's working because you can see the little indicator going up and down right there. So now if we want to play this back, let's just see what it sounds like. And it should allow me to record. Now I'm going to put it right to my mic, to my mouth, testing one, two, three. This is a test of this USB microphone. Now I'm going to record again and I'm going to show you what it's like when I'm not talking. So I'll clear it how uh, noise free it is. So I've got the volume turned way up and you could tell, just listen to that, there's just no noise on there. So this microphone has got a really good signal to noise ratio as I just showed you right there. And it records nicely, just remember to keep the microphone element one or two inches away from your source, which is your mouth or your guitar or whatever is generating the music or the voice for this microphone and you'll be okay. So what's more of all impressions about the USB microphone by SGYD? 
this is a nice product. I like it. I like some of the features like the button, the LED indicator, the flexible boom. It's not the longest microphone, so you're going to have to make sure that you bring it close to your mouth. And it's not the most sensitive microphone I've tested, but the signal to noise ratio on here is very good. And it's a very quiet microphone. Just make sure you're talking close to the microphone element and adjust the levels in your software. So I like this product, I recommend it for you. The price point is excellent, very inexpensive. So I'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. And if you like this video, please hit the like button also. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.